guys. Thanks so much for clicking on my channel. We're all smiles over here. I am with Sanja. It's like asking the question, will Sanja help you keep a smile for the day? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try to keep it long. Y'all know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on what? Yes, talking. The golden next the day is ask, believe, receive. Ask, believe, receive. I know I've already done a golden nugget on this, y'all, way back when, last year sometime, but this is just a reminder. Listen, ask, believing, and receiving is a good formula, okay? The thing is, you have to do the formula correctly. Now, y'all know I taught you guys about this a way back when, way back when. The asking part, which is the requesting, is very easy. You just put in the request. You ask, right? Then there's a fun part of it all. The fun part is the receiving. You unwrapping that manifestation, that manifestation being in your fruition. You finally get it. It's in your arms. You're like, oh, yes, I got it, right? That's the fun part. Now, let's deal with this middle portion. The middle portion is believing. The middle portion is believing. Now, what did we talk about, if y'all remember from way back when? What did I say you have to do with believing? I said you just can't believe. You just can't believe. Why? Because believing just means to hope. For. So because believe means just to hope for, you have to pair it with something. What do you pair it with? Who remembers? If you're thinking it, yes. You have to pair it with knowing. K-N-O-W. You have to pair it with knowing, right? Because when you pair it with knowing, knowing solidifies the thing. Knowing puts it in concrete, which means you can't be swayed. If someone says something to you, it don't mount up to a hill of beans. Why? Because you know. You're not believing it to happen. You know it's going to happen. So you pair your believing system with knowing thus it's going to bring forth your easy part or your fun part, which is what? Receiving that thing. A lot of times we get stuck and we don't know why we're stuck because we said we've already asked. God, source, I've asked you for this, but I haven't gotten it yet. That's because you're still hoping for it. You don't know. You're just hoping. You got to know. You got to put knowing. You got to pair the knowing with knowing with your believing. i give you a prime example. Y'all, one particular time, I had planned something for my husband. Y'all know I love my husband to the moon and beyond and beyond. Okay, right? And so I planned something for him, and it was supposed to be on a Saturday. The lady said she didn't have, she didn't have any type of availability. But I was like, yes, you do. Uh-huh, you do. And I told her, guess what I told her? I said, hey, call me when it, call call me or text me when it opens. And she said, oh, okay, but rarely no one ever cancels. I said, don't worry about it. Just call me when it. Why? Because I said, I know it's going to happen. I know my husband is going to really enjoy this. I I've asked for it, I'm believing, I'm pairing my believing with Noah, and I'm going to receive just what I want. I want it on a Saturday. Why a Saturday? Because my kids are out of school and all of us can enjoy it with my husband. So y'all, guess what? It kept getting close to Saturday. It got so close that it was on a Friday. And I was just around the house, just, you know, cleaning up a little bit or what have you, doing a little work. I had already done my golden nugget. And I was like, it's time to go pick up the kids. Y'all were why I was leaving to go pick up the kids, right? I got this burst of gratefulness that just fell all on me, right? And I just started thanking Source, thanking God for every single thing that has transpired in my life with my family, with all of us, with my friends. Every single thing that you can think of for the, my hair, my eyelashes. I was just saying, I'm so grateful for my eyelashes. <laughs> I was so grateful for my eyebrows a little bit that I had and I had to draw in the, the other part. You know, I was just being grateful for every single thing. I was in tears. I was just saying, I'm so grateful. Thank you for whatever it is that you have for me that's coming in and to flourish. I'm so grateful for it, right? Now, I wasn't a bit more even thinking about, okay, I wasn't even a bit more thinking about um, the event for Saturday that I wanted for my husband, right? But right before I left, because I told you I got in the, in the thing of, of gratefulness, God said, call the young lady again. And I was like, okay. I called and I said, hey, this is what Sandra just giving you a call to see if you had any availability. If you just text me or whatever, just let me know. If not, then that's fine. But if so, I'll be very appreciative. And I just hung up the phone. And I remember, you know, the, the, the what was playing in my head was, um, you know, she said, people rarely cancel with this type of stuff. And I was just like, you know what, God, you told me to call. I'm grateful. I've already asked you for it. I prayed my believing with knowing. I know it's going to happen because I was like, we're going. My husband's going to do this. We, he's going to do this, okay? And so, um, I'm still in in the in in format of being grateful. And so I get in the car because it's time. By this time, it's time to go get the kids. I go 
get in the car, I'm driving, I'm still in my, my format of being grateful and just thankful and thankful. And as, as I'm going, God, I thank you for this upcoming Saturday. Thank you for which was the next day. I said, thank you for it. I said, I know it's going to, I said, I don't know how it's going to work out, but I know it is going to work out. In other words, I don't know the intel details, but I know. And as I was saying that, I heard a bing. And I was like, wait a minute. I said, oh, that's that's probably somebody, you know, just texting me. I was just thinking, you know, I'll get back with them or whatever. Maybe it's my email. And I was just stealing gratefulness, stealing gratefulness. But y'all, when I got to the school, guess what happened? Ah, yes. It was a text of the young that said, hey, we do have availability on tomorrow. Does 2 o'clock sa- sounds great to you? And I was like, yes. And I text her immediately and I call her and say, hey, listen, it works, it works. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And y'all just worked out like that. Why? Because I wasn't hoping that somebody would, was can- would cancel. I wasn't hoping. I believed with knowing. I paired it with knowing. I paired it with knowing. My believing with knowing. And because I paired it with the knowing, it solidified my request. It solidified that it is what it is. So I wasn't wavering. I didn't go off to here and say, I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to do that instead. I said, no, we're going to do this. God, I don't know how it's going to do, but I know I put the request in and I know it's going to happen. And it happened just like that, y'all. So listen, if you found yourself right now stuck with something that you know you've been asking for and you've been asking for, and I told you you don't have to ask more than one time because when you ask the first time, God hear you the first time, okay? The thing is, are you just hoping for it to happen? Or do you know it's going to happen? That's the difference. That's why I said you have to pair your believing with what? With knowing. When you do that, you'll get to the fun part of it. And that's receiving. Receiving the manifestation. So I hope y'all got the gist of it, y'all. I just thought that this would be a blessing to you guys, especially moving into your upcoming now, which is the you know upcoming week. So listen, pair your believing with knowing, because you just can't believe. Believe means I hope. I hope it's gonna happen. I hope. I hope. No, you gotta know, because knowing solidifies it, puts it in concrete for you. In other words, you're saying it is what it is. I am going to do this. I am going to experience this great thing, and it and it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all, I think I'll get it. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go on that note. If you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have to master a smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed, be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao.